We're now going to look at adjusting the levels of our pipes in order to avoid these services. I'm going to go and reprofile that pipe that we had the problem of services with. And then I'm going to go pick the upstream pit location. And so I'm now editing this pit in this pipe. I'm going to go to the pipe tab. And what I'm going to do is look at altering the cover limit in order to push this pipe down. Now, if you recall, our minimum cover was 650. And what I'm planning on doing is increasing that to one meter in order to force this pipe down. And then, if we were to run the design engine and a larger pipe would have to be sized, it would be the obvert that was held and the invert would be pushed down. This system works very well. And the only time we run into trouble is when our design surface moves up and down as well because then our pipes are going to follow the design surface. Now, if the rest of our services are moving with the surface, we won't have any troubles. However, if we're doing a redesign and the other systems have already been services have already been built, then our service clashes will come back and then we'll have to reapply the adjustments. So, first we'll come up here and we're going to change the limit to 1 meter and then we're going to say regrade those pipes. And you'll see that our drainage line has moved down. If we go check our output window, it says that our clash has gotten better. Move that a little bit out of our way. Output window. It's now at 173 and it needs to be 550. So just a little bit more. Now you're welcome to do mathematics inside here. So if I add 550 and minus 0.173, that's the additional cover that I need. So now I can go and regrade those pipes again. Go check my cover, and it says that my cover is just, move that out of the way, 550, and it says that that's still a problem. Now that's just a mathematical round off error. If I was to make this cover one millimeter grip bigger, go back and regrade those pipes, it would then tell me that the problem's gone away and just change it from problem into information. So using the pipe cover, is a good way to avoid your clashes and then allow you to resize the pipes in the engine without the service clash coming back. Now that we've changed our invert alignments, we have to go rerun our storm analysis. I'm going to pick our network editor, go back into our storm analysis. You'll notice that all the settings from last time are still remembered, so we simply have to go down and select the run button. Says it's all been done, drainage model updated successfully, back to the editor. And we'll finish that for a moment. You notice our hydraulic grade line has been recalculated. And also, because we've dropped this crossing line down significantly, our trunk line has to drop down in order to pick up that manhole. Now we've taken a look at our results in plan view. We're now going to take a look at them in a long section view. Now, the plot that we created is a plan plot in that it's on a piece of paper. So to review it, we still have to go to View, New, Plan View. So even though it's a section drawing, we're still going to look at it on a plan view. Maximize that view and come down and add on our drainage long section, Plot 1. Now, you'll notice this plot has got our hydraulic grade line on it. It has our design surface, our natural surface, and then if we zoom in closer to our text down here, you'll see that we've got many of your design requirements on here. For example, your velocity capacity, your end values, there's your velocity at normal depth, your full flow velocity, which is going to be your smallest velocity, your capacity, okay? So there's your actual pipe flow. All of these values are directly onto your long section drawing. Here's your hydraulic grade lines, your depths. Now these hydraulic, sorry, these long sections are not in, made to give to your contractor for construction, but rather to be used as check vet drawings for design, or to give to your road authority or approval authority so that they can check these values and see them graphically as well. The next step in our drainage design is to look at service clashes. First of all, we're going to read in a 12 d ASCII file that has a service located inside it. File I.O., data input, down to our 12 d ASCII. 
Inside this, we're going to look for our Services 12 DA file and go read that in, pressing the Read button only once. To take a look at these services, first of all, let's go take a look at them on Plan View. I'm going to go add those services on. And you'll see what it includes is a line coming straight down, it's a water main, coming down the center of the road. That is expected to cross our drainage lines. To see how this crosses the drainage lines, let's add that same model services onto our long section. Now let's go to our next drainage line and you'll see that we do indeed have a service clash. Now what we want to do is to have the drainage network editor automatically identify this clash for us. So we're going to select, go back to global one more time, utility models and do another set of links. I'm going to call this file my services. Then go across and once again open up a customized editor. The idea here is that every model contains a set of services, for example, one model for Telstra, one for gas, one for water, one for sewer. If we right mouse click on here and go pick up our services, each one of these models is allowed to have a separate warning clearance. If these crossing services are closer than this tolerance, a message in the output window will say that we have a problem. Now for these, I'm going to set the clearance for these as being half a meter and then include a little bit extra for the thickness of the pipe. An extra thing to, to pay attention to here is that if you're doing 12D sewer design and you're looking at a crossing between a 12D sewer pipe and a 12D drainage pipe, you're going to have to include a little bit extra for the thickness of both. Therefore, it'll be two times the pipe thickness, adding about 100 mils. Now let's write out this file, select finish, and then come up to our set pit details. As soon as we do the set pit details now, it tells us that there's problems in the output window. Coming down here and holding on the output window, it says that there's a problem with our pipe I-106 to manhole 1, and then it clashes with that water main. The clearance is zero, and it was supposed to be 550. Now, next we'll take a look on how we fix that problem.